Before we move on to actually your topics of research, I have like a, another question related to education because so you did study in Europe, in Prague, and I know that you came to visit uh, a US program. You came to the University of Rochester where I was a student. That's where we first met. Uh, and of course, now you work here in academia at Arizona. Do you see any important differences in the education system or the opportunities, you know, that, that you get or the type of instruction or even research between Europe and the U.S.? That's a hard question. Uh, so I think formally uh, how the programs are structured or what kind of material is taught is very similar between Europe and the U.S. Because as far as I understand, most of the European programs are modeled after American programs. Uh, faculty is also moving within the countries, and especially nowadays in most of the European schools, there is uh, a lot of faculty who graduated from the US who are doing frontier research. So I don't think there are many differences in terms of being able to start your career, find interesting topic, get good advice. American graduates and European graduates compete side by side, ultimately on the job market. Um, so maybe, there could be some differences if you are potentially considering going into either the private sector or maybe working for an institution or a bank or central bank, then maybe being location-based is important. So if you're thinking of getting a job in a private sector in the US, then probably getting a degree in the US will give you a little bit of an advantage. If you're thinking of maybe there is a chance I would not pursue an academic career, but get a job in a nonprofit institution or central bank in Europe, and maybe being in Europe is better because you also get access to European data, much better access if you're based there, and being able to work with the data, know it inside out, potentially could give you an advantage on the job market. I think you can start a really good career in both places, and then the rest determines of what are your long-term geographic plans. Hmm. I could also mention one thing that I wish I knew when I moved from Europe to US and started teaching undergraduate students, uh, I think there are considerable differences in the undergraduate education. And if you're coming to, you, to the US and start teaching American undergraduate students, you get surprised because they ask different questions and they expect slightly different from you as an instructor than European students. Right? So European undergraduate education is very structured. You choose your path very early and there are many courses that you are required to take. And even if they are a bit too difficult or not, not very exciting, you still have to take them. American undergraduate students have lots of options. They switch between the majors. They, have, uh, they can choose whether or not to take a course. And then when you come to teach them, they really want to know why are we doing this? How am I going to use that? And they don't really want to focus so much on the boring technical details, but they want to know about applications. And if I knew that when I came to the US, I would have structured my first course differently and wouldn't have to spend a lot of time in order to readjust after the, afterwards. Yeah, it's, it's important, right? Because we're trying to also get the new generations excited. So yeah, yeah I, I, I understand what you're saying. So, you know, being able to like give the opportunities to everybody to access yes. the profession may, may mean mm -hmm. also tailoring how you get them hooked to it. True. But yeah. to your point, good for like people in Europe who maybe are not ready to move to the U.S. There's plenty of opportunity yes. to, to enter the profession there. Yeah, that's great. 